Hey there, you guys. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be transplanting this, uh, what is it? Boea volubilis, I believe that the, uh, the name is. I uh, hope I'm saying it right. If I'm not, let me know in the comment section below. And, uh, yeah, this is a really cool plant. Uh, not a lot of people grow this. Uh, I don't know why, uh, but it's such a unique, interesting plant. Uh, that I think more people should grow. This has been on my wish list for quite some time. If you watched my unboxing video from Phoenix Perennials, the first one, uh, this came then. So I've had this for maybe two months, maybe two and a half months, uh, and it stayed in its little pot. I want to transplant it and I want to give it a trellis. Uh, this guy is called a climbing onion or a sea onion. Uh, so it's got this really unique uh, structure. Uh, it's just basically a vine that comes out of a a tuber uh, and yeah it's not actually an onion uh, so yeah it, it's not edible uh, I'm going to be uh, putting it on this big trellis that I uh, I added some extra rungs to so that there's more spaces for it to climb and uh, yeah this plant likes uh, really uh, arid conditions uh, overwatering is the biggest cause of uh, of its demise so you want to make sure that you use a uh, a relatively poor, uh, well-draining, uh, a gritty mix uh, for the soil. So I'll show you what I'm going to be using in a second. And uh, yeah, let's just get to it. I'm going to be putting it in, I was thinking I would put it in this clay pot and the trellis, let me put this down. The trellis just kind of fits in it. It's really, really big. So it's going to eventually be top heavy uh, because I'm going with a really uh, gritty mix. I think I'm going to go a slightly bit bigger pot. It's not too much bigger. This pot fits right inside, so it's it's very comparable in size. So I think I'm going to go with this size. Uh, and the, uh, the trellis fits in it much easier. Uh, so that's why I'm going with this one. So yeah, let's get down to it. I'll show you what, uh, what substrates I'm, I'm going to be using to create the soil mix. And uh, yeah, let's get, let's get to it. Okay, so here we have the different types of uh, soils or mixtures or mediums that I'm going to be using. I've got my, um, my ProMix HP, so this is high porosity uh, peat-based soil, so this is going to add some moisture retention. There's lots of perlite in that, so it's going to also add extra drainage. I've got some homemade pond. Uh, if you want the in ingredients for this one, I'll link the video to uh, Jungle Flowers Canada's video that I, uh, I made this pond with. And uh, thank you so much, for uh, Grania, for, for uh, this recipe. Uh, and uh, I'm also using some, what is this one? This one is pumice, uh, small pumice. And then I've got some um, worm castings that I will break up this big, big clump. And then I've got a little bit of orchid bark just for good measure. And then off to the side here, I've got a, uh, a granular fertilizer. This is an organic mix. Uh, it's a, a very, uh, very light organic fertilizer, and I'm just going to add a little bit to that just to uh, give it a little bit of something. Um, it wants a pretty arid mix. The bark is in here to, uh, to break up the mix, uh, make it a little bit fluffier. Uh, the, uh, the worm castings are to add a little bit of uh, nutrients to the soil, uh, and uh, these guys are going to be adding... Uh, the mineral content uh, to really let it drain freely. The the pond will actually hold on to some moisture, uh, but uh, all in all, it's going to let some the air flow through really, really nicely. Uh, and it should dry out fairly quickly. And I'm going to be using a clay pot. So as I showed you, I'm going to be using this clay pot. Hopefully I made enough soil. If not, I will make some more to fill this pot up. And uh, yeah, let's see what we do. Let's mix this up. So satisfying to get your hands into the soil mix. As you can see, it's quite gritty, breaking up any of the big clumps. There shouldn't be any big clumps. There we go. Again, mixing in that little bit of fertilizer that we have. The bark is in there to really make it fluffier. It'll break down over time. Move all this stuff over. Now I'm going to take the uh, the plant out. It just slid down the pole. <laughs> I'm going to use some of the uh, the Velcro uh, uh, strips to uh, to adhere it to the 
the, the trellis for the first time. And here we go. Gonna add some of this to the to the pot. And now let's see what the root system looks like. I haven't had this for very long. Take this tag out. What does it say here? It says here a boia volubilis is or volubilis is a cool oddity with an onion-like bulb that sits on top of the soil and grows lacy climbing stems. All right, as we can see here. <laughs> so let's carefully pop this out of the soil. I'm gonna take this stick out and the little clip, because I don't want it to break the, the stem. I haven't been watering this very much. I've been really wa uh, watching it. Uh, I see that there's some barky material in here, lots of perlite, and the root system actually looks quite nice. I'm not going to do much with this mix. I'm going to take a little bit away, but not a lot. It's a nice airy mix. Just fluff it up a bit with my fingers. I'm not trying to disturb it too, too, too much. And then I'm going to get this bee out of the way. I <laughs> uh, don't know whether you're able to see that on camera. Anyway, there we go. This bulb needs to stay above the soil surface. Uh, it is natural for it to, uh, to shed like this. Usually that happens during dry periods. And there we go. Just filling in around. I didn't do very much to the roots. I'm gonna take this uh, little sorrel out of there, a little oxalis weed that has grown in. It does not need to stay there. And look at how beautiful that looks. Oh, so pretty. You don't wanna bury the bulb, like I said. This guy likes to be in full sun or pretty close to full sun, uh, as bright as you can get it in the house. Maybe slightly sheltered outside, depending on your conditions, but it is a sun lover and heat lover, and it will have dormancy periods, but uh, they usually don't, well, they last until uh, the plant finds water again. Uh, in the house, it probably won't stay dormant for very long, now I'm just going to take these little bits here. I might change the camera angle so you can see me uh, uh, attaching it to the to the trellis. This trellis size might be a little overkill, but that's okay. I'm just going to get a little bit of the the Velcro uh, tape here, and I'm just going to casually attach it. I don't need to be tight with it. This, this uh, Velcro tape is so nice because it's reusable. Just gonna push it through the, the trellis a little bit. I don't need to give it very much because it hangs on itself, just like you can see here. And hopefully over time, as the bulbs get bigger, uh, it will produce more uh, foliage and uh, will climb up a little higher. I'm gonna put this in my west facing window. It gets nice hot sun in the west window and uh, it seems to be liking it so far. I'm not gonna water it in just yet. I'm going to wait uh, for at least 24 hours before I water it, just in case I broke some roots. I don't want uh, any rot to set in. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing for the next 24 hours. Then I'm gonna water it thoroughly. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna water it after that initial watering, whenever the soil is completely dry and, and then repeat. <laughs> wait till it dries out completely and then water it thoroughly. Uh, the bulb should be firm after you water it, but then it, it's gonna go a little bit, a little bit soft when it needs to get uh, watered again. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, uh, err on the side of caution when watering these because the biggest cause of death is overwatering. Uh, so, and, and naturally if they, if they get starved of water for too long, the foliage will die back and uh, you'll have a, uh, uh, a, just a bulb once water is reintroduced, it should start growing again. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, show me what uh, kinds of fun, funky plants that you're growing. Uh, post them to the Plants and Things What's Growing page. Tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what they look like. Uh, yeah. Anyway, until next time, you guys. Happy growing.